Next up is uh, the North Sand Mountain Bison, the Thundering Herd. Coach Kirby, it's hard to believe you've been there. This is like seven years already, isn't it? Time gets by, you know. Hey, time gets by, man. I can remember when you were playing. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, uh, Coach, uh, introduce the uh, the players or let them introduce themselves and uh, some opening comments today about okay. uh, your team. Well, first off, I'd like to thank you all for having us. Tell you all, we appreciate you all doing this. It's good for the area, good for all these kids get to experience something like this. So thank all you all for doing this. But i got a pretty good group here with me. These are the kind of guys that – I count on and I lean on the most as far as a coach. You know, you got to have a good relationship with your players and you got to have somebody you can count on a little more, whether it's trying to round other boys up or whatever. And some of these guys have been, obviously, you know, you hear the same stuff, how hard everybody's working, and I'm sure they are. And we're trying to do that too. But some of these cats up here has been going at it since December, right after the season went over. And they're going out on their own, getting a little extra. But, uh, Good group of boys on my far left. Olo's been with us for four years, I believe. It's that one. One's been with us for three. And uh, on the far left is Lucas Steele. He's been a senior O line, D lineman. And next time is Niall Pores, will be receiver DB. And this one right here is uh, he's going to be the manager, Ben Kirby. This one right here is Blake Hill. He's going to receiver DB. Uh, Levi Petty John. O-line, D-line, and Connor Garrett, O-line, D-line, on the far right, my far right. Well, you know, we, we've been going at it, uh, working pretty hard. Uh, had a pretty good summer, and uh, we're excited to get it rolling Monday. Uh, talk about experience coming back, starters, offensive, defensive line. How many uh, guys in the program? Yeah, I mean, we got, we got several coming back. Uh, we lost uh, – about seven or eight seniors last year. Uh, I think all these guys up here had quite a bit of playing experience, and uh, we got several others coming back as well. well Coach, uh, going into this season, I know expectations are high, but you know, uh, talking to coach after coach that we've talked to so far, everybody in this area, region, in the uh, Anybody in Northeast Alabama, it is so competitive, and it's hard to get an edge on everybody anymore. There's so many good coaches and good players around this area. Oh, yeah. You know, everybody's uh, uh, all in working year-round just about. And if you ain't doing it, you're getting left behind. So, you know, that's kind of the approach we're taking. It's, uh, you know, everybody's zero-zero right now, and everybody's feeling good right now. But, you know, the question we, we got to ask ourselves is what are we willing to do to set ourselves apart? You know, well, so. Well, this is for the players. Guys, I know y'all have been in the program for a while. Coach Kirby has been around for a long time. What does he mean to you? What does he mean to you on the field? What does he mean to you off the field? How does he influence you as a person? Oh, um, he, was, he was always a great guy. Since my freshman year, he, he took me in and treated me like family. And um, on the field, he motivates me and – in the weight room, whether it be in school, anywhere, just in the classroom. He's always on us about our grades. Um, all around great guy, love him to death. Uh, Coach Kirby, he finally talked me into playing football my sophomore year, and I'm glad he did. He'll always treat you like you're one of your own and stays on you about everything. Pushes you, whatever you're doing. Don't matter if you don't play football, play football in band. He'll push you to do the best, whatever you do. He pushes everybody to do the best in whatever they're doing. He uh, is the same off the field as he is on the field, and he'll just push you in a game, practice, or in school. Uh, Kirby um, pushes us in the classroom as hard as he does on the field. And he'll never let you give big head either. Uh, one of the biggest things about Coach Kirby to me is that he always uh, makes you strive to be the best on the field and off the field. Uh, he always motivates me to do the best that I can at everything I do. And uh, he's just a really great guy. Coach, we had the pleasure of watching you guys in the spring at COSA. 
And just about every coach that was there said one word when they described your team, which was physical. Uh, talk about that, giving off that kind of aura to these other teams, like what that means to you personally that these guys are actually imposing their will on these other teams. Well, you know, <clears throat> that's, what, that's kind of the mindset that we've tried to establish. and It ain't always went that way. Uh, and, it, you know, it's, it's going to present some challenges of trying to keep that going as well. And, you know, it's just – you just can't go out there and do it. You got to live it. You know, it's, it starts months and years ago. So that's just kind of what we we've tried to establish. And hopefully, that with these guys right here, we're going to get it back and maintain it. Uh, and this is for each one of you players uh, coming out of that spring game. You guys are fairly good. I know. Obviously, you got a lot of work to do. But individually, what's some of the things you guys are going to do to lead this team this fall coming up? Well. Um, First of all, uh, getting everybody uh, to practice. Um, I know for a lot of team that's kind of a bit of an issue, but just working hard outside of the field house and in the weight room and getting everybody to practice, that's the biggest thing, and to teach you to have a good mentality about it, have a good attitude. Uh, we got a lot of underclassmen that should get a pretty good, decent amount of playing time this year. So, for us seniors, I think we should just push them, help them, whatever they got to do, help them watch film and everything. We uh, got to make sure we finish all our games because last year we'd play hard till the third or fourth quarter and we'd lose it all. Uh, we'd be leading the game by a couple touchdowns and we'd, then we'd lose it all once we got in third and fourth quarter. We got to take what we did in the white room and put it out on the field and impose our will on everyone else. Uh, really, we just got to make sure everybody's there, everybody's devoted, and everybody's just going all in on everything we're doing. For the players, last year didn't go as, uh, as well as you expected, thought. A lot of close uh, defeats and everything. How, how motivating and – has that been for this year and, and kind of what's went into your off season as just far as trying to uh, make amends for that? Well, um, obviously every season is a lesson. You know, you learn by mistakes. Um, some of us have been going at it since December, like Kirby said, and trying to get better. Um, but every season is a lesson and you just kind of got to learn from it. Uh, every day, Kirby reminds us of last season, and it just pushes us to drive harder. And this is like one of the strongest groups that's ever came through North Sand. And that's really it. Uh, it's the talk of the field house. Uh, he makes sure to remind us every day about last year and that this uh, team this year is going to finish every game that we got all the way to the buzzer uh, goes off. We just, like they said, we just got to finish every game. We start last year, we was up in every first half, so it's one game. And we just got to go and finish until the final call of the game. Uh, it's been said multiple times, but it's just a really big deal for us. We just have to finish the games, uh, and that's really it. This question, Ben, you're the manager. Hey, I want to ask you this. How hard is it to work for Coach Kirby? Is he tough on you? Sometimes. <laughs> Coach, it's the last few questions have been asked about last season and, and what you've kind of taken out of that into the off season. Uh, one of those things that I, I know every coach gets, especially in December when you start looking ahead, is where do we need to improve? And you begin to focus on that. What are some of those uh, things that you need to see as you prepare and, and head into fall camp uh, just a few weeks before the season here? Right. Just like these boys said, I mean, we've had a huge emphasis on finishing. Uh, uh, we didn't finish the way we needed to, and uh, it was uh, I thought took it upon myself. It was my fault, and we've uh, tried to address it, and we will continue to try to address it for the till we get to week one and beyond. Coach, speak on what you think uh, going into fall practice. You've had your first week, I think you said. Uh, what's the strength you think of this football team this year? Uh, I think it's the this senior class we got right here. Uh, I always 
say that uh, you can be a good team and be led by the coach, but the great teams are player-led. and uh, We've seen some signs of some player leadership going on here, and uh, hopefully it uh, will really take off here once we get to practicing. I guess now I want to address that, piggyback to that to the players, just what the coach said. Obviously, you talk about being disappointed in the way last year went, not finishing some games. Guys, when the coaches are not around and you're with your teammates, do you see a different attitude in, in going forward into this, year, into this season? Um, coaches are not around. you you got to work upon yourself and can't always rely on, you know, to always have a coach around you. You have to have that mentality to always finish and, Well, when uh, some of the guys was out in December working, the coaches wasn't around. So, I think that's all you got to say. Uh, some nights, football team will go up to the field, turn on the lights, and we'll go run routes, throw balls, and uh, work on ourselves without the coaches watching and be hard on the, our other teammates, getting them better. Most of the team had a bad taste in their mouth after last year. So, the spring game – Guys, a little of that taste out, but we still have a big taste of it. So we've been going out there since December, getting better. We've been going out there at nights, like he was saying, turning a lot, something, getting better every day that we can. Uh, it's been really great seeing uh, all the independent work that a lot of our players have been doing this off season. Uh, like I said, turning lots on, but also working really hard in the weight room uh, when the coaches weren't looking. You know, not skipping reps and whatnot. Coach, I'll ask you about your schedule. I believe on the 19th you open with Valley Head. Then uh, you've got a, a rivalry game against uh, Dade County. So a couple of challenges right out of the box. Oh, yeah. We come out – got to come out swinging. Uh, it, it sets up to be a pretty challenging schedule from top to bottom. you got to be ready to play every single week. Uh, there ain't going to be no looking ahead because if you're looking ahead, then you get you get in, get in trouble pretty quick. So – all focus is on August 18th. Is it 18th or 19th? 19th uh, against Valley Head. All right, guys. Thanks for being with us today. Good luck to you this year. All right, thanks thank for being with us. We appreciate thank you. it.